Okay, before we get into today's video, I have a little bit of news to share with you guys and it's not good news but we will get through it. So basically the colony server has actually run its course and there was a few issues here and there with the server and I did touch on it in my last episode. However, there has been ongoing issues just back and forward with the with the server and a lot of the guys have ended up leaving the server and moving on to something new. So with that said, the server has unfortunately ended. But I was really happy with how we were getting on in this base area and my plans for what we were going to do here. So I thought rather than end the series abruptly on episode 3, um, what I would do is actually continue on as a single player series. So I got the world download um, from the server host which was awesome and I'm going to continue this series on in single player. Um, it probably won't last for too long but at least until we get this base area all set up and all completed the way that we wanted and planned out at the start. So you guys thank you for your patience and yeah, I'm a bit sad I was having fun on the server with the other guys and, and playing along with them and hopefully we'll get to do something like that again um, and not too long in the future. But for now we will do this single player and yeah, let's get into the video. That is right guys, the iron farm is all completed and we are down here in the storage area at the moment. Now we're going to check how much iron is in. Um, since the last episode of Karma I did work on getting all the villagers and the zombies up in there. So it's working now as we saw in the video. Spawns about 4 iron golems every maybe minute, 30 seconds to a minute. I did AFK at this farm. Um, and it is, I did AFK at this farm and it is, produces around about 10 stacks of iron per hour. So that is awesome, as you can see there, iron flowing in non-stop. But pretty awesome. Um, I did also do some work, you can just see the edge of it there on the framework for the other buildings surrounding the area. So I will play a little bit of a time lapse that I'd done of me building those structures up and then we will take it from there. Alright, we can take a closer look now at these builds. So you really get a sense of the feel of this area now with these ones built up. We have um, a nice little courtyard area in between all these buildings. I do need to put something there, kind of above where the cows are and it will create a nice little overhang with all these roofs above us. 
Um, so the next thing obviously is to detail all these as is just the frames and the roof that's on them. Um, I do have to strip all this wood. Um, so I'll do that just now like this and we have stripped our logs on the buildings. So next I think what we need to do is I'll go around off camera and I'll fill in all these walls. Um, so they'll do similar details to these, some of them will be windows, some will have this kind of layer on the walls and add all the details around them. Alright guys, and we are back. Oh, well, that did take a little bit longer than expected, but here is the semi-finished product. Um, so we've got all of the buildings here decorated and detailed with all the walls and lights and everything that they need. So they are looking pretty cool, I think. Um, let me just sleep here, as there is the one creepers blowing anything up. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy with the design. I did obviously say I was going to follow the design of the walls and things here with all these buildings in this area, which I have done. Um, it's difficult to try and vary it up, but also keep it the same. Um, so we will go for a fly around here so we can get a better look. Uh, I do like the view from up here because the roof design uh, shape is really cool with these. So there we go, around the back here. I did get a little spammy with the leaves but I do want to eventually have all this area path blocks and you know, have these paths leading to all the buildings but also in between kind of run down paths that have been you know ridden on by horses and carts and all these kind of things so it will look all oh well it should all fit in eventually once it's finished um, the one thing I do have an issue with or I'm trying to come up with ideas is so we've got our main house here and you know I'm happy with this and I do like the addition of so you've got this kind of wind mill thing at the side, you've got the chimney um, and the little winch um, here at the back with the, the crates and things. These buildings here, these three, they don't have anything extra on them. They don't have any extra cool little designs on them. Uh, they're, they're just the buildings with the, the walls and things. So try to come up with ideas on what we could put on maybe one or two of these just to give it a little bit extra um, interest to look at. Um, something villager related possibly with this one uh, but yeah I need to have a think about that and see where we go um, I'm going to go and gather some resources that I can use to start designing the paths and get them all connected up together I don't know what I'm going to put right in the very centre of the town I've had a few different ideas like a well, a fountain, a tree, all these kind of things but it is a bit of a smaller space the higher, higher we go just because the the way the roofs all came in here, so have a think about that as well. But, but yeah, we'll be back shortly when I have gathered up the resources for the paths. So I've went out and I have gathered up all of these materials here, and this will be used to create the paths, just like this one. Um, I did mention changing out this colour, but I do have um, a couple other ideas. I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is for now. I may add some of these leaves in the floor um, and hide lighting underneath, but. And for now I'm going to just copy this pathway um, coming out from each of the buildings um, maybe try and meet them up somehow um, but the process I would normally take when doing these paths is so I would just build out or dig out a bit of a trench we don't want it to be we don't want it to be even or anything we just want it to be a bit rough around the edges and uh, so it's something a bit like that yeah I need to change that block out there yeah, so do that. So that's us got a rough bit of a trench there. So we'll take our materials. So we need some concrete, coarse dirt, some slabs, some stairs, and some trap doors. And just take a little look at what we've done here. So we'll probably take the coarse dirt first of all. And we'll just start kind of pretty much spamming it around. Um, like something like that 
Yeah, that looks alright. Um, now we do the same with this concrete powder. Uh, the reason I'm doing these ones first is because they're full blocks. And uh, when it comes to placing the slabs and the trap doors, we kind of need something to place them on. So it's a little bit easier then to do that. So take the slabs now and we'll just start oh, placing them around. Um, I could use blocks of spruce, but uh, we may as well save on the resources by using slabs. Something like that. And then we want a few stairs here and there. Just to give it a little bit more depth. Uh, put one there. That's probably enough of them. So now we want some of these trap doors. Kind of, again, just spammed <laughs> around. Uh, another course dot there. We'll get another slab here. Like that. Yeah, that looks alright so far. I feel like I need a trap door. I've got one there, so yeah that's good enough. So again what I also have done is just kind of used some of these path blocks as well. Just around the outside. Uh, Gives it a little bit more of a, another dimension to it. Uh, I actually forgot that we would need the pressure plates. Uh, and I don't know where I've put my bed. Oh, here it is. Okay, I've went and grabbed some more spruce wood, made up some pressure plates and some buttons, as we've got some here as well. So, again, this is just a little bit spam around place so just kind of here maybe one here one here and we are missing a block there and yeah that's that one pretty much done um not sure if i like the way that is going so we will move that to this one yeah i think that works just a little bit better maybe one there as well awesome so yeah, that's the path design. Obviously, we've got a little bit there. So next up, we're going to need some lights. And <laughs> I've spent a little bit too much time designing a light for this area. Um, but if I grab all of this good stuff, um, where should the first one go? Probably... Um, Hmm, I've not actually thought about where these are going to go. Maybe like here? It's probably a good spot. Okay, uh, made the decision that's going there. Maybe there. Yeah, no, that'll, that'll work. Okay, so this is a bit of an expensive <laughs> light design, um, but it does kind of fit our theme of the steampunk area here so what I need is actually something that I forgot to craft so give me just a minute all right and by magic we are back and I have the block that I was missing so that goes there and then we get a torch on the back side and then one of these guys if I can place it yeah yeah, and this guy, I want to switch it to night mode, I think that's it. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the light designs. Again, that is a bit expensive, so we're obviously using hopper and daylight sensors and redstone lamp. Um, and I'll just switch it to other mode so we can see it on. And back off again. Well, it'll turn on when it gets dark here. So it fits the theme a little bit. It's kind of supposed to be like one of the old oil lamps, the street lights you got. Um, and this is obviously simulating the smoke coming out the back side here. Um, yeah, I spent a little bit of time designing a light. Um, I went through. <laughs> 
a lot of different designs um, and finally had to settle on one. I might change but for now that's what we're going to go with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do all the rest of the paths here and connect them all up, get them all designed and laid out the way that I want it. The sheep thing will need to go. Um, but I'll do that just now and we will see how it looks once it is all finished. So here is the progress so far uh, with the path. I have ended up filling in pretty much this entire area. Um, it's a little bit much on the eyes, <laughs> but I think that I will be putting something in the centre. Again, I'm not 100% sure uh, whether it be like a fountain or a, a well or something in the middle here. So it should break that up just a little bit. Uh, the path will extend up this way to whatever building is here and it will also extend all the way down there to the villager trading area but so far this is what we've got it looks okay I added in these um, little lights under the leaves as well and you just saw it there all the daylight sensors are sensing that it's night time and all of the rest of the lamps switching on there so that's what it will look like at night but if we fly up here it does look a little bit better from further away as you see it there let me just get a little bit higher so i can float down to the ground a little bit so yeah it does look a little bit better uh, when the whole area is sort of done right and the paths all uh, actually go somewhere because like here just now the path i don't intend to actually put anything back here so f well potentially but not at the moment so the path will just end here i might build up some custom trees all around the area and that will kind of hide away the, the areas at the back that we don't want you to actually travel into. Uh, next thing I want to work on is I've got a plan of something I want to build for the portal area. Uh, that will probably be in the next episode but I'm going to have to work out exactly the design that I want to go with for that. Um, so yeah we should hopefully get to, to work on that in the next episode and it will if it works out the way I planned it should be really cool and I hope you guys will enjoy that one. Um, but for now I will need to go and sleep. I realise there is a bed outside but I may as well make use of a bedroom up here. Alright guys so a good bit of time has passed since the last clip that we saw. Um, we had just finished up with the path area uh, but I wasn't quite happy with the middle section as it was looking a little bit plain well a little bit jumbled up it looked like there was something needed to be there so i've designed this tree i went through a few different designs of like a statue and a fountain and everything like that i wasn't happy i wanted something to stand out with a little bit of color so i've added this tree here i'm still not a hundred percent happy with it because it does block the view of these buildings when you're you're kind of looking at it from the path so yeah this could change but after I designed this, I really wanted to work on the building behind here for the cows and things and I got a little bit carried away off camera and it's actually completed now. So there it is. That is the building that we have now got in that area. It looks a lot better than just having the empty space. And The cows are actually still inside that. We'll go in in just a second. Um, but I just I do like the design of this little bit sticking out the top. And it does make this area just feel that little bit more complete. Um, and I can't wait to get this whole place, you know, done and working. So, yeah, the path looks a little bit better now that there's something in the middle so just to break it up a little bit. Um, but, like I said, I'm not 100% happy because as you you come from here or different angles, it does block the view a little bit. So, yeah, that, that may change um, for something a lot lower, lower down on the eye line. Um, but, yeah, if we take a look inside, this does house a lot of the kind of random little farms and things I had scattered around the area so when we come inside we have a little sheep um, shearers they are being moved from outside into here and they are just collecting in this chest and I'm storing the overflow in these barrels um, through here obviously we have the cows they have moved over slightly from where they were but pretty much the same there um, upstairs I have added a cactus farm I thought that we could use that as we didn't have that previously so this is just you know passively getting some cactus for us which is cool up this 
floor. I haven't really got anything on this floor yet. I've just put the composter here, um, but I don't really know what to do with it. It's quite a small and awkward space, so not sure yet. And then up the top, yeah, I've moved all of our cocoa bean trees up here, and I've placed the vines to start a little bit of a vine farm. Again, just a manual thing, so nothing too exciting. But yeah, guys, that's it. I don't know if I'll do much decoration in this um, area, as it is mostly just for um, functionality, for getting materials and things. The same with all of these, really. There's nothing really in them. Um, I don't think I've done anything. I've you know, made it look a little bit neater, but no actual decorations. Uh, I think this one's still a bit of a work in progress. Yes, uh, I'd like to replace this cobblestone, but it's a bit of a pain, so... Oh, and I've fallen down here. Um, yeah, so I'll probably end up just staying like that, to be honest. Um, and the last one over here, the villagers... I've just... Oh! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I've just added the floor. Uh, to match the other ones, but yeah, uh, the lights look really nice at night time, this place does stand out quite a bit uh, if we actually go for a little bit of a fly around yeah, it looks really cool at night awesome, yeah, I'm really happy with how this area is turning out uh, I do need to connect the path up to the iron farm the villager trading hall and yeah, the portal. I want to set the portal back a little bit into the hill and create a little bit of a cave around it. I think that'll be, um, f well, that'll be what we'll do for the nether portal as I don't want it just sitting there. Looks a little bit odd. But yeah guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. We've done a lot of off-camera work, so I apologise if you did want to see the process of this being built. But I figured it was pretty similar to the other ones, so... Yeah, I just kind of continued on as I was um, in the zone <laughs> and this zombie wants to fight with me. So guys, that is going to be it. I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.